the engineers were able to confirm what we uh, thought was the causation issue last night. So uh, sent in sort of layman's terms, which is all I know in the engineering world, there's a, there's a, there's a, a valley um, in, the, uh, in the roof of, of a, a, an intentional design valley in the roof of Assembly Hall. Um, snow collected in there, and then as, as snow uh, melted, it slid in and created um, a uh, sort of a super load in that area. Uh, they speculate that it was probably the biggest load that the ceiling, uh, that the roof has, has borne, if you will. All that pressure went to uh, where that plate was and essentially popped it off, which of course is, is, uh, is, a, is, a, is a flaw in a, in a, in a variety of, of ways but uh, a, a targeted and unique um, um, event. So, so the, the, we do believe that, that we understand the cause and that it is largely limited to the, the plates that bear the full brunt of that snow. They were able to make a complete uh, visual and physical uh, inspection, both internally and externally. So that is behind where the, where the uh, siding is, if you will as well as on the front end by virtue of, of uh, having the, uh, the crane there. Um, did find um, two or three other places where the um, uh, steel plating was loose, none of which was imminent to fall. I want to emphasize that uh, there, there weren't any plates that, that, that they thought were in any kind of short-term uh, danger of, of popping off, but there were some um, that were loose.